What is going on guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a couple weeks since I made my last video, but my stupid freaking video card keeps going out. But anyways, I'm back now and before we get started, I want to tell you guys that all of the source code I already posted on my forum. So if you go to buckysroom.com and you go to the forum, you can see that all of the source code for this entire little series on every single file even the uh, tutorials I didn't make it I posted it all up there so if you wanna you know just copy that or follow along whatever again go to buckysroom.com and click on the forum and it's under the JavaScript section so anyways this tutorial what we're gonna do is we need to build one last function in this chat class PHP file so what this is gonna do is it's gonna be private function and it's going to be called is database cleared now we're going to pass it in one parameter and <clears throat> by the way I got like whooping cough black lung whatever you want to call it so uh, it's probably going to be really annoying to listen to me cough and my voice also probably sounds a little bit weird but hey we gotta fight through it together let's go ahead and knock out these tutorials so anyways what this function is going to do is it's gonna check to see if the database has been cleared since the last call to the server so why do we care if the database is cleared at all well because if the database is cleared and what this means is the table that's storing all the messages has been emptied or all the rows have been deleted then we know to delete the chat window that the user sees because you know we don't want to store all those messages when we have nothing in the database and you'll see as we build this program so anyways this ID right here is actually the ID of the last message received by the client. So the client is going to say, okay, this is the last message that I received. Now use this information to determine whether or not um, the database, you know, whether or not what I have to do with the interface. That's basically all I'm saying. So you'll see in a second. So the first thing we want to do is we want to test if the ID is greater than zero greater than zero now this is where we're going to be writing most of our code but let's go ahead and pass one more condition so if it's not greater than zero then let's just go ahead and return and remember the point of this is to return a clear flag or a clear tag I guess it, you should probably call it for your XML file false now this is just you know a check if the ID is not greater than zero so we can go ahead and return false however what we really want to do is we want to perform a couple checks right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the number of rows which basically mean number of messages with the ID that's smaller than the clients last ID that they gave it and you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about in a second so let's go ahead and make a variable right now called check clear check underscore clear and go ahead and set this equal to a uh, MySQL statement select and all we want to do now is we just want to count the number of messages from the table where the ID is less than this ID so we, we pretty much want to count the number of old messages so how do we do that well select count all and this is you know MySQL language old from chat where message let me make sure you guys can see this message underscore ID is less than or equal to now we have to end our MySQL statement and we have to append the ID that we passed in so if you guys don't know WTF is going on and I'll show you guys as soon as this is good so we're pretty much saying okay count all the messages that are less than or equal to the ID that we passed in in other words very basic terms count all the old messages boom simple enough so now with that information of course we need to go ahead and result equals actually run this query so this my squealy query 
and of course the query's name which was check clear and this is going to go ahead and run that query and store the result in the variable result simple enough so now what we want to do is we want to set a new variable row and set it equal to the result which was the query we just ran of course this basically is result right here result fetch array and we want to fetch it as a my squealy associative array now let me go ahead and do one more check and then probably everything is going to make sense so we want to run one more if statement and you don't really need those curly braces but we're going to check if row which is basically the result and it's basically the array of messages of old messages so if row old and remember old is basically the number of old messages simple enough very easy to understand if that is equal to zero well then that means that we can go ahead and I'm gonna cheat a little bit right here return true because if you don't have any old messages then it means your database is cleared so this entire function is basically a question is your database cleared well in order to check if your database is cleared we need this piece of information what message is the last message you received and you pass it in and it pretty much counts all the messages that were order that were older than that and pretty much if it's cleared and you have no old messages then you say true this database is cleared there are no messages in the table and if not then it's going to return false and that's the default so that means that the database was not cleared yet so boom roasted pretty cool that is the actually last function or method whatever you want to call it I think it's technically called a method since it's in a class but that's the last part of this file so you can go ahead and save this and in the next tutorial we're going to be working on a new file and now that we have you know all the you know kind of hinkering tinkering nitty gritty boring parts we can start actually building this thing we made all the pieces now we can start putting it together and again don't forget if you want all of the source code then go to the website buckysroom.com which by the way is probably going to be the coolest open source social network on the internet very soon and go to the forum and in the javascript section i posted all of the source code so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you then